In this video, I wanted to share with you the best Blitz in Madden 23 post-patch. Uh, EA released a patch, and it basically changed a lot about the game. It changed a lot about how pressure works, and so I wanted to kind of break down uh, my favorite defense right now post-patch. Uh, and I also wanted to explain or, or uh, and talk about how you can learn more about that. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're in the 46 playbook today. Uh, the formation that we're going to be talking about is nickel over. I think that this defense is far and away the best defense post badge um, because dollar is significantly less effective than it was. And um, it's also significantly easier to pick up. And when you pick up dollar, the sheds are just not that good. Um, whereas with nickel over, even when you pick the blitz up, you're going to get one-on-ones for your defensive ends. And that's really the benefit. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel over defensive ebook with my favorite adjustments for formations, um, I've got a Patreon membership. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. It also gets you access to all of our ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks. With the patch changing a lot about the defensive landscape of Madden 23, I will be updating a lot of stuff over there in the coming week. So if you want to become a Patreon member today, it's only $10. I think it's a great month to become a Patreon member because of the fact that there's so much about the game that's a, that's changing this month uh, with all the updates. And um, we're going to be on top of everything for you. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description down below. Uh, but my favorite defense right now is Overstorm Brave. Um, and we'll show you why. So EA patched it, and they even said that they patched over Storm Brave, and they certainly did. It's not as good as it used to be, but what we want to do is we want to stand um, over the top of this running back side tackle and basically just run down and then to the running back. And as you see right there, we're going to get double edge pressure. Now the real benefit or the key with this defense is if they're going to uh, send five out, they're going to get absolutely screamed at, as you can see right here. Now, the other benefit of this defense is we can adjust it. So let's say, for example, that we want to man up the running back, and we only want to send five. You'll notice that this is still going to get um, one person free, and we're going to have the running back manned up now. Now, the other benefit to this is if they block a running back, I want to show you what's going to happen. So if we man the running back up, and let's say they block a running back, this guy that's manned up on the running back is going to basically rob over the middle of the field, and we're going to get a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and nickel over, in my opinion, has at least some of, if not the best sheds in the entire game. You're going to get instant wins or instant sheds, which is really nice. Now, if you crash your line down when you run this defense, a lot of times if they block a running back, you're still going to get pressure um, off of the side. If you look at this blitz angle, they basically change the blitz angle so that when you pinch, that defensive end kind of fans out like that. Now, it can still come in off of that side. As you see right there, just no adjustments, and it just came in. All I did was pinch my defense. However, um, there is some things we can do. We can crash our line down, and what's going to happen now is the pressure should come significantly faster around that edge. As you see, even though the running back is technically picking him up, he's not able to get over there and actually make a meaningful block. Okay, a meaningful block. Uh now here I'm going to slide my line to the right, and what you'll notice is the pressure is going to come off of the left. So ideally the best pass protection technique is going to be to slide their line to the right and then to basically block the running back and have him pick up the defensive end on the left side. That's where these uh, loopers really start to come in handy. So in the default blitz angle, you have this B-gap style looping that's going to take place. So again, even... If they slide their line like this, you you see how these loopers are also going to help. This also significantly helps, and I know firsthand significantly helps, um, you know, with play action blocking. Play action blocking is really powerful right now, um, you know, but this is a great example. So you see how they can loop through and kind of come around. Now, another little technique that you can do with this blitz is you can contain. Um, now, why would you want to contain? Well, primarily, when they block a running back, what happens is it creates disengages all over the place for this defense. So the beauty of this is they're going to take these wide blitz angles, which are going to open up essentially this gap pressure. So you'll notice here, 
that we're getting a disengage through the A gap, and I'll show you in instant replay uh, why the contain is good. Contain logic in Madden has always created and always led to disengages. So here we are, we're gonna send six, and they're gonna pick up the edge pressure, which is good, but what you're seeing is we're getting a disengage right down the A gap, and he technically doesn't even pick up the contain. So that's a great way if they're blocking people consistently, this is a great way to send pressure. My, by default, my personal recommendation with this defense is actually to only send five. Um, and because I want to see if they're going to block their running back. So we, we actually like to, you know, go ahead and maybe stand right here, leave the running back manned up. So they're going to try to like force it to the back. And you see that we're going to be able to get pressure off of the edge. Um, you know, so you can mess around with this, but the beauty of this is also the best way to stop ags in this game is to double cover them. So with these two middle linebackers, they're extremely versatile and we can use, we could do something like this where we man up both of these outside or these middle linebackers on the solo and outside receiver. And then we outside third our corners. So everything is still manned up across the board, except the running back. We get out there to help with the running back and you see that this is going to cause uh, really effective double coverage uh, to the streaks on the outside. So the beauty of this is if they're just going to try to ag us left and right, we have this right here. And this is, um, you can even drop a defensive lineman into a zone, and then you see, you know, how you can kind of have a very nice defense that gets really good sheds, okay? So the benefit of nickel over is in the versatility, um, all of the different coverages that you can create from this formation. Uh, for example, here's a, here's a really, really good example. You could do something like this, or I mean, even do something like this, where you take the safety, put him in a 35, uh, or a, put your curl flats at like 30, and you could run a Mabel coverage to the right side, uh, you know, where you did something like this, and then on the left side, you could have a hard flat for the back. You know, something like this. This is becoming one of my favorite defenses because it looks exactly the same. We created it all via hot routes. Um, everything looks the same really well. And then you see here, now they're going to have to be a zone look that looks like man-to-man. -man. So there's so much that you could do with this defense. Uh, but really as simple, it, it really is as simple as this. I mean, you know, just simply pinching your defense and then from there, um, you know, I like to go ahead and shade that slot cornerback and that solo receiver on the right outside, uh, especially for U trips. And then what you'll notice here is we're just coming free. So one of my favorite defenses right now in the game. If you want to learn more about how to actually adjust the formations out of this, how to mix it and uh, match coverage properly, how to run match coverage properly, and even better variations of blitzes that are really good right now for nickel over, make sure you join our Patreon. Um, this blitz right here is super simple. Literally, you just pinch your defense. But there is so much more that we go over in the eBooks that we don't cover in terms of how to actually adjust to your opponent and how to improve your blitz when they do certain blocking. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description um, to join our Patreon. It's just $10. You'll get access to all of our eBooks and all updates to those eBooks. So make sure that you're in the Patreon if you want to check all that stuff out. Um, we got 14 offensive and defensive eBooks. So we're dropping our 15th guide of the year this week. So thanks for watching uh, the video. And if you want to join our Patreon, the link is down in the description of the video.